Okay, children. So today we will discuss ray diagrams related to universes. Ray diagrams related to universes. So children, in the last video I have told you what are the rules to draw ray diagrams. Already I told you. All the rules I told you. Everything. So whenever I am teaching, again I will say all the rules just to clear. And in the minutes we will see first concave universes. And then we will see concave. Concave thick ray diagrams are there. Convex you are. Without mirror diagrams, you can't do any measurements in them. You can practice them as much as possible. Okay, so first concave ray diagram. Every ray diagram will have heading, diagram, characters. Remember all. Every ray diagram will have heading, diagram, characters. First heading object at infinity. Means object is somewhere at infinity, like sun, star, or any far object. Object at infinity. This is your mirror. What mirror children? Concave mirror. This is all. This is focus. This is depth of aperture. This is pupil. Light rays are coming from infinity. 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 They all remain like focus. They all remain like focus. From the perception, we should draw arrows. Also, arrows can be drawn. So what are the characters here? When well, light rays are coming from infinity, they all are meeting at focus. So same side is called real in mirrors. If image is forming on the same side, it is called real. So image is real, and it is looking like a dot. So point side, and where it is forming on F, where it is forming on F, on F channel. And what is U V F balance? What are the U V F balance? Children. Object is somewhere here. Object side is taken on the image distinction. Object side is taken on this. Object is this side only. Image is also this side only. If it comes this side positive, but image is also coming this side, so image is coming. And focal length is always negative for concave. Concave means negative. Convex means positive. Whether it is lens or mirror. Convex. Okay, so that these terms they won't destroy the textbook. So please try to understand. As I keep uh, as I keep saying, you know. See. Second one, object beyond center of gravity. First, it was at infinity. Now we are bringing it closer. Closer means beyond center of gravity. We are bringing the object beyond center of gravity. See, children, this is pole. This is focus. This is center of gravity. Object is beyond center of gravity. So, children, what are the parallel to the triple axis? Just tell me in rules. I told you. Right way going parallel to the triple axis goes through focus. And light ray going through focus. See that. So one ray is going through the parallel, so it comes through focus. And light ray going through focus comes parallel to this axis. I can understand you. The problem is wherever they meet, they meet in that edge. If light ray is going parallel, it goes through focus. If light ray is going through focus, it goes parallel. Or if light ray is going through pole, it obeys loss of. But all of them will meet at same point and find any unique point in each direction. Two rays are enough. Simply I am showing two rays. Two rays are enough. Okay. So what are the characters? Real. Because same side. Wherever object is there, that side is called real. Object is upward. Image is inverted. inverted. So it is called inverted. Inverted. Object is bigger. Image is diminished. Small. Diminished. It is called diminished. And where it is formed between F and it is formed between F and C. What are characters of image? Real, inverted, diminished between F and C. Compulsory should remember this diagram. Without this diagram, you can't do any movement of this. Okay, real, inverted, diminished between F and C. What are characters? Real, inverted, diminished between F and C. U, V, F. Children, object is always negative on this side. Compulsory. Wherever object is there, that side is negative. Image is also that side only. This full side is negative. And focal length for concave it will first only be if it is convex positive. Second ray diagram also. Now let us bring object a little bit more close. Object a little bit more close. Object on C. Object on C. Correct. What is this children? This is pole. Focus. Center of gravity. Object is on center of gravity. Same channel, one ray parallel to the principal axis goes through focus. 
focus and under light ray going through focus under light ray going through focus goes parallel parallel again they are meeting at this point this point what should see this is object this is image object side only images of the coming this side only not that actually object is up image is given so it is expected and both are of same size practically same size and image is formed at p image is formed at p what are the characters of image real inverted same size form of c real inverted same size form of c what are u and u u is always negative i told you first when u is there v is also there only so that's why v is also negative and focal length for on cable we are doing on cable this is concave object the focal length is negative of course okay sir focal length is on cable next three ray angles of six so much first object was very far then it was beyond the ray now it was c now we will bring little bit more front between c and f okay so next one straight on the structure we have to concentrate we have to practice these ray angles and time shift it will be more than enough Okay, sir. Next object between F and C. Object between F and C. Okay, sir. So the word is this is concave mirror. Concave mirror. This is two sides. Pole, focus, center of gravity. Object between F and C. One ray parallel to center axis goes through focus. Another ray that goes through focus goes parallel to center axis. So the ray. Here you see wherever they meet, they will meet. Wherever they meet, okay. So, so because object side only image is forming, it is called parallel. Object is up, image is down, so it is called parallel. Object is small, image is big, so it is called magnified. And when it is formed beyond C, image is formed beyond C, image is formed beyond C. What is cat? U V U V. Children, U is always negative. I told you first only. Where U is there, V is also that side only is negative. Focal length is always negative for on key. That's it. So first step, object was at infinity. Then it came beyond C. Then it came on C. Then it came between C and F. Now it will come on F bar. Now object on F. Object on F. For constant is focus. This is your concave mirror, compulsory part. So uh, remember, silver means making it okay. Pole, F, C. Now object on F. One ray parallel to the axis goes through focus. Other light ray going through pole means loss of image. No, sir, I want one more ray means light ray going through center of curvature means the same part. Like this, you know, and it brings the same part. All of them, you see, they are going parallel to each other. All of them going parallel to each other. You see here. They are all going parallel to each other. So where object is there, we know that side of the circle. It is below principal axis, so compulsory is not there. And of course, it will be bigger, magnified. And where image is formed at infinity, why again? Because they are parallel lines. Now, what are the values of U V F? U V F. U is always negative. V is where U is there. V is also coming that side negative. F is for concave negative. Concave means negative. That's all. Lens or mirror concave is negative. In concave mirror, it's last right. Object between P and F. Object between P and F. See, please write down for the children. Everyone. Object between P and F. You have to practice. You have to practice along with me also. It's good. Object between P and F. One ray parallel to the principal axis goes to. Other light ray going through pole obeys loss of reflection. When children of these both are going diverging, this is going this side, this is going this side. But when you extend them back, okay, children, when you extend them back, see children, when you extend them back, when you extend them back, they both will meet in this point. Principal axis you can extend on either side. Here you are getting image. Object is this side, image is that side. This type of image is called what? Sure. Object is this side, image is that side, that is called virtual. And children, object is above principal axis, image also above principal axis, it is called 
act okay and it is bigger so virtual erect and magnified means remember always virtual means and magnified so what are the characters of u v f u v f u is always meeting on the f side here u is there v is that side so first time v is becoming positive and focus for concave is negative only that said blindly concave means focal in negative that's all so children this is concave Okay, viewers. Now two related terms are there for convex children. Strength and strength. So this we have to practice along with each other. Practice these three times or four times. Very very important three times in life itself. Next, convex children have only two related terms. The first heading is object at infinity. Object at infinity. This side will be same. It was concave children. Light rays are coming from infinity. 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 They all will undergo reflection. 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 When extended back, the medium focus. When extended back, the medium focus. Okay, children. Light rays are coming. They undergo reflection. Why? Because we made it similar, you know. So, children, object is this side, image is this side. So, that type of image is called virtual. And the size of the image is point size. Point size of the image is point four point three three. And where image is forming? On it. Image is forming on it. What are characters of UV? Please make a note. All characters of UV. Children, U is always negative. This side is negative because object is this side. But image is this side, so positive. And since it is convex, the convex is positive. Positive. Last but not least, the most important ray diagram of the big ray diagram, children, very 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 important. Hundred percent guaranteed three marks question is there, children. So anywhere on twenty five degrees. In In convex mirror, you will not have B on C on C between C and F on F like that. You won't have. There are many keys. You get three minutes in convex mirrors. Convex mirrors. Wherever you keep, you get three minutes. Wherever you keep, you get three minutes. Okay, children. See, this is object. Imagine this is object. Wherever you keep, you get same. That's why I'm not relating F to C like that. On the parallel plane, plane, this one goes like that. When extended back, it goes through focus. Okay. I hope all of you understood. And whichever light ray is going through pole, obey its laws of reflection. I told you. And when you extend this, you will get degrees from everywhere. So this is the image. So what? Are, object is this side, image is this side. So it is virtual. Which mirror always forms virtual image in convex mirrors? And children, it is above and back. And it is smaller, so it is reflection. Okay, children. And it also covers wide range of view. What is wide range of view? And coming to you, B F. U is always negative one. Children. U is this side, B is this side, so B is positive. Positive. Convex means positive focus. Children, why this is so important? Please say. This is used in rear view mirrors in our vehicles. In our vehicles, we'll have rear view mirrors. So, children, you see back like this. We we'll use convex mirror only. In board exam, they have to learn this question. Which mirror is used as rear view mirror? Why draw rear view? Which mirror is used as rear view mirror? Why draw rear view? Which mirror is used as convex? Why? Because it always forms virtual. Change the line erect. Change the line diminished. Change the line covers why you need not change. And next, then you have to justify your answer in the end. And the children, then you will not get get doubts. So in what sense? So what is? Children, in concave, if you see, we had different different positions like at infinity we had, beyond the C we had, on C we had, between C and F we had, on F we had, between F and P we had. Here you are getting the inverted image. Here you are getting inverted. Here you are getting inverted. Here you are getting inverted. Okay, here we are getting. If you use concave mirror for rear view mirror, suppose 
और इन्वर्टेड इमरजेंसी यूज़ सी चल रहा है व्हाट इज़ द यूज़ ऑफ़ सीइंग बैक रह बन बस और लॉरी और सब वही के लोग पे इसलिए दे अपेयर इन्वर्टेड टू योर आईज़ हाउ इट लुक्स इट लुक्स ऑफ़ यू वांट अंडरस्टैंड आज इन दे आर कमिंग इन एयर यू अब्जर्वर ओ दैट्स व्हाई कॉन्केवेज़ इस तरह नॉट इस कॉन्वेक्स Small image, but it should cover the entire range of the road. Back to keep on the road, what is happening? Everything we want to see. If you want to see convex mirror, it's a best image. It's just a mirror, right? Like so, what shall correct and diminish it will form? That's why it's shown. So, in exam, when it comes to you, you have to see radial mirror is convex mirror. Second, right? Because it always forms virtual, the right image covers wide range of two, one by one. Then, not as simple. Without radial mirror, it's not as simple. So these are the mirrors we are interested in, okay? And coming to whenever mirrors we are interested in, here only I will say mirrors form. So that is the reason you must have seen before. Mirrors formula is the most simple. Mirrors formula is one by f is equal to one by b plus one by b. Derivation is not there for your syllabus ten class, children. If you want, I will show you with that. In intermediate, it becomes no elastic derivation. Just you have to remember mirrors formula. One by f is equal to one by b is the sum. Where f is the focal length, v is image distance, u is object distance. Everything there is here. And coming to magnification formulas for mirrors. Magnification for mirrors. Magnification for mirrors is magnification for mirrors is n is equal to h dash by h or minus h. This is the form. N is equal to H dash by H or minus H. These are the magnification formulas. These are the magnification formulas. N is equal to H dash by H or minus H. Okay. So the definition of magnification is ratio of image size to object size. H dash is children. H dash is image size. This is like this is image size. Image size. Ah, sorry. This is image size. This is image size. Then H is object size. This is object size. H dash is image size. H ratio of image size to object size or ratio of image distance to object distance is magnification. What is magnification definition? Ratio of image size to object size or ratio of image distance to object distance. Can anyone define magnification? Anyone? Ratio of anyone? Not even a single student. Image size to object. Ratio of the heights. No. Ratio, ratio of image size by object size.